My friends, what's going on guys? My name is Kai, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing, I'm trying to get to 500 subscribers by the end of February. Thanks so much. Guys, I have some great news to tell you and I want to pass on some of my knowledge, some of my help to you guys because I'm really excited about this. Guys, I don't want to boast or anything, but I made an extra $9,000 this year. And I want to tell you how I did it. And it's super simple. It's something that you can do yourself. It, it's, it's not a hard thing to do. Um, so, the number one thing you have to do, and now if you've watched my channel, you probably know where I'm getting at with this, but put the beer down. Put the beer down, put the alcohol down, put the drug of choice down. Put it down. Now, let me tell you a little bit about myself. When I was a drinker, I'm a recovering alcoholic, and when I was a drinker, I was employed by the same people I'm employed by now, but I put them through hell. Oh my goodness, every day it was another story. Um, I was constantly sick, I was constantly hungover, I was constantly having anxiety attacks and panic attacks, and the reason why was because I was so addicted to alcohol that I couldn't go more than like six hours without a drink. Six hours was like the absolute max that I could go. I mean, even in my sleep, I would set alarms so I would wake up every two or three hours in the night so I could drink. Um, I really didn't go more than six hours. So I had a really, really hard time with work about it. And I know a lot of you guys that are watching, a lot of you guys are dealing with the same stress of addiction and trying to get over it and I'm telling you what I'm saying probably resonates with you a lot because you guys probably do the exact same thing. You probably call in sick a lot. You probably are hung over far too many times. I can't tell you the amount of times where I would get to work on like a summer day. It was the worst on summer days because it was hot and I would get to work after a night of binge drinking because that's all I did. And for the first 45 minutes of my shift, I'd be in like the bathroom throwing up uh, because I couldn't, I wasn't, I wasn't ready for the day, you know? I wasn't in the right condition to do that. So my job suffered big time. Um, I've talked about it before on my channel, but my doctor actually wrote me a doctor's note saying that I couldn't work more than six hours because my anxiety was so bad that if I was away from alcohol for more than six hours, I would start panicking and I'd start crying and I, it would be really bad, you know? Um, that being said, I have some amazing news. I made an extra nine grand this year. And the thing is, I didn't make that extra nine grand because of raises or because of um, anything like that. Like I didn't get a raise or anything like that. But what I did do was I was actually able to show up all the time. I was able to show up on time for work every single day that I was scheduled and I worked through my entire shift. Guys, I can't tell you how impossible it would have been for me to do this while I was drinking. It would have been impossible. Um, I, I just physically couldn't do it. I, I For years, I was working and I was dealing with this problem and nothing would help other than drinking. So, now that I'm sober, now that I'm 500 days sober, um, I'm going to Japan. And I went to apply for a credit card, and when I applied for the credit card, I had to bring um, a year statement of basically how much money I've made in uh, the last calendar year. And I made an extra $9,000, and I'm so happy about that. And the only thing that changed, the only thing that changed for me was I stopped drinking. So, um, and now I'm not talking about I saved $9,000 from not drinking. I mean, I made an extra $9,000 from not drinking. So that's on top of what I've saved. Guys, if you really want to kick your career into the next year, if you want to make a really good impression, uh, 
to people at work, especially your boss, especially your higher ups, if you want to do that, quit drinking or quit doing your drug of choice. I know, I know that it's not that simple. Trust me, I've been there. I've been there. I thought that there was no hope that I would ever get sober again. So trust me, I do know how hard it is to think, well, it's super easy for this guy to say, just stop, but I could never stop. Trust me, you can. If you talk to your family and if you talk to your doctor and if you get the proper support networks you need, the proper medication you need, you 100% can get, a, get in control of your addiction. I promise. Trust me. If you've looked at some of my videos, you've seen how dark and deep my addiction went, trust me guys, if you're worried that you can't get out of addiction or that you're stuck in this rut that you'll never get out of, trust me, if you really work on it, you can get out of it, I promise. Other than that guys, I'm not trying to brag, I'm not trying to say, hey, I'm a millionaire, because I'm not, I still, even with that extra $9,000, I still live underneath the poverty line in Canada. Um, so I'm by no means rich, you know, I'm just really grateful that through my sobriety, I was able to work that many extra hours. Uh, and I just wanted to share that with you guys. Guys, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, I'm going to get going. Sorry for my stuttering. Um, sorry that I haven't had a, a lot of videos lately. Honestly, I've been sick. I have not been feeling well. And when you're sick and you're sweating and you're, you're just gross. The last thing you want to do is get up and get in front of a camera. So I'm sorry, but I've got some great ideas. I'm filming another episode of Interview with an Addict on Sunday, so look out for that. And other than that, guys, I hope you're safe wherever you are in the whole wide world. Please be safe. Please be sober. And if you're not going to be sober, that's totally fine, guys. Just be safe about it. Be with good people and have a safe ride home. All right. Have a good one, guys. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. Turn off.